Understanding Orpheus Lament, a journey into myth and expression. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase from classical mythology, Orpheus Lament. This term isn't just a piece of history. It's a vibrant expression that's woven into our language and culture. Let's explore what it means and how it can enrich your English vocabulary. Orpheus is a legendary figure in Greek mythology, renowned for his extraordinary musical talents. He was said to be the son of Apollo and the muse Calliope. Orpheus' music could charm animals, make trees dance, and even sway the hearts of gods. His tale is a rich tapestry of love, loss, and the power of art. The phrase, Orpheus' lament, is rooted in the tragic story of Orpheus and his wife, Eurydice. After Eurydice's untimely death, Orpheus travels to the underworld to bring her back. His music softens the hearts of Hades and Persephone, who agree to her return with one condition. He must not look back until they reach the surface. Tragically, right before they reach the light, Orpheus turns, and Eurydice is lost to him forever. Orpheus' lament is his profound grief and the heart-wrenching music he plays afterward. Orpheus' lament is not just a story, it's a powerful symbol. It represents deep sorrow, the beauty born from pain, and the human condition's frailty. In literature and conversation, referring to Orpheus' lament can evoke the sense of loss so profound that it transcends words, finding expression only in art or music. In modern English, Orpheus' lament is used metaphorically. It's often employed to describe a situation of deep sorrow or a reaction to an irreversible loss. It's a poetic way to convey feelings that are deeply felt and mournfully expressed. I hope this journey into the myth of Orpheus has been enlightening. Orpheus' lament is more than a phrase. It's a testament to the enduring power of stories to capture the deepest human emotions. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope this enriches your understanding and appreciation of the English language.